Okay, this is Lake El Gigikin. It's where we're conducting a drilling program. Let me tell you a little about where we are. We're actually located here about 100 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. And uh, we're looking across at a basin uh, that was created by a meteorite impact that occurred here 3.6 million years ago. And it created this large basin. The impact was large enough created a basin that's about 18 kilometers across. Uh, let's call it something like 12 miles. And in this crater then, at some point after the ejecta uh, fell down, this lake was created in the basin, which now stretches about 12 kilometers or about 8 miles across. And it's within this basin uh, where we have collected the sediment record that we're after. The, the hills that you see around here literally outline the, the, the edge of the crater itself. There are 50 streams that come into the, into the basin and then ev well, eventually into the lake that provide the sediment record. So uh, over time, since th 3.6 million years ago, all of the sediments that have been shed from this watershed, the pollen, the organic matter that's collected here, has been shed into the lake. Also, the organisms living in the water column of the lake that are sensitive to temperature and, and uh, the uh, chemistry of the, of the lake have all uh, been deposited at the bottom of the lake. So we have layer upon layer upon layer of information of wha how, what the uh, climate of the surrounding watershed has been like since 3.6 million years. This is Tim Martin, 2009 Polar Trek teacher, talking with Dr. Julie Brigham-Gretty at Lake Elgigitkin in northeast Siberia.